We got a 2017 Hyundai Veloster. Uh, the customer actually brought it to me uh, last week on the tow truck, said it wouldn't move uh, in gear, basically transmission problems. Uh, he said it would go in reverse but not forward and wanted me to basically scan it, check it out. So at that time I did, had some trouble codes that I've, I've not experienced yet before. Uh, this apparently is a dual clutch transmission and so I told them I would need to look into it to see what the trouble codes were all about. He ended up taking the vehicles being that he was going to bring it back when I had availability but since then till now he decided to replace the transmission I guess from researching he found that it's a common problem now he, and, and this was done at another shop now he's brought it back to me check engine lights still on different transmission and still no forward but yes on reverse so I will bring you along inspect this see what the codes are and kind of find out what's going on so this was uh, the code that I pulled yesterday uh, off camera and it's 17 and as far as what is there so two tranny codes one in the cluster obviously we're not concerned with so it's a P0900 clutch actuator A circuit open active and then a 17C0 dual clutch transmission non end of line so basically this one is going to be almost like a calibration type deal this one is the one that I believe is giving us all the problems so we'll look that one up and go from there okay so a little bit of info on the trouble code basically TCM sets this code when out of voltage when output voltage is out of available range and you know possibilities is a clutch one or clutch A motor or wiring so on this setup the TCM is separate it's not uh, incorporated into the transmission and looks like there is um, motors that actuate the gears so here is uh, a wiring schematic here are your two motor setups your clutch uh, actuators or motors and here separately is the actual TCM which from researching looks like it's inside uh, behind the driver's like knee bolster under the steering wheel so we're eventually going to need to get to that what we possibly will do is check this line and these two for the actual motor from the PCM and check the readings uh, continuity from one to the other uh, one's going to be clutch A, the other's going to be clutch B. Both are same part numbers from what I saw. So the readings and everything should be the same on the motor control side. Or that normally seems to be the first step is to check for open inside the clutch motor actuator. And some further info that I came across which uh, makes a little bit more sense of what's going on. Clutch A controls the odd gears, one, three, five. B is two, four, six in reverse. Uh, now, if I told you, or if you remember how the vehicle came in the first time and even now, it does not go forward, which would be gear one, which is controlled by clutch A. That's our trouble code. Customer said it does go in reverse. That's controlled by clutch B. We clearly have a problem with clutch A. But being this is now the second transmission with the same problem, the only thing common variable is the transmission control module. Up to this point, I've not pulled anything apart, not done any testing, just pulled the code, researched it, looked at the diagram, and with some just knowledge and experience and a logical hypothesis based on the situation, meaning the two visits, and the same problem. I'm almost going to hypothesize that the clutch A actuator motor possibly faulted 
shorted and took out the drivers for the TCM because a completely separate transmission with new separate actuator motors still does not actuate forward gears so my gut feeling is going to be that the transmission control module is at fault now if he would have let me check it and test it I bet we could have got away with replacing the motor actuator motor and TCM and not have to do the whole transmission but we're here now I'm betting these two actuator motors are the same we'll compare the, the ohms readings and we'll check make sure the lines the only other possibility is the wires from inside to the motors that there's an open if that is good I'm betting we're gonna need a transmission control module and with these supposed two new good motors which we'll verify we won't need to do anything with the transmission at the transmission so we'll pull apart the interior get access to the module and start making some uh, checks there okay so according to the diagram the connector is E200 TB so quick search I found the uh, computer under the dash but it's got two connectors so I wanted to verify which one was which and then as you can see E200 TA and then E200 TB so the one we need is the TB so it's going to be this guy here so there are the two connectors unplugged the module is there it's kind of tucked up in there so for right now again we'll check the connectors luckily uh, Hyundai has labeled the pins here on the face. The section that we will be working on is here. It's big, big thick wires, obviously motor controls, so the pins are all in that section. The ones that we need are, it's 67, uh, 63, 59, 68, and then 64 and 60. So the common one on each motor is gonna be the brown one. So we'll tap in there and check ohms to these two. And then there and check ohms to these two. So both are supposed to be the same readings, motor to motor. So we'll go ahead and check that now. So what I'll do first is check the known good. Um, so I'm in the common pin, that's 68, and then we'll go 64, and that's the reading. We'll go to the next one, which is 60, it's down the line, and there's that reading. Now we'll move over to this one, so 67 will be the common one. Looks like it's gonna be one down. I'll take this out. 67. And then three and 59. So they're just below each other down the line. So there's that. And same reading. Next one down, same reading. Now there's no spec that Hyundai gives, it just says compare the two uh, and you want them to be the same. So that is all four lines, these two and these two from each common pin all are the same reading again my gut feeling is that the harness from here on down is good those new new used actuators I'm gonna assume are good and correct being the separate transmission um, I bet if we had the old one we would see a difference in reading on clutch a actuator but uh, gut feeling again is that the the guy up there is most likely not providing power.
Uh, if you see that harness there with the connector, that is connects to that actuator. That is actuator A. Just to show you. Okay, I actually needed two hands for that connector, so it's unplugged. I should still be in actuator A. And there you go. So, just uh, again, proving harness uh, integrity. I believe all that is good and okay. And uh, motors, actuators are going to be, I guess, okay. Both read the same. Again, just trying to verify as much as I can to uh, if we're going to end up determining a bad TCM. Okay, so I finally got the computer out. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a pain. But before making a, a stupid mistake, being that this did come from auction, uh, and I've had those from there that are kind of tricky or been rigged, I just started glancing for powers, because obviously in order for motors to actuate, you have to have your power supply. And I noticed this one here, which said DCT2 and 40 amp. That's a high amperage, I'm sure big fat wire, uh, and it's labeled DCT2. So I'm going to assume that actuates clutch number two motor actuator. And then down the line, that's 15 amp, that's not going to be it. And then you see DCT1 40 amp again. Sure, big fat wire, and assuming that's going to control clutch one. And so, before making a call of bad computer, since it needs power supply for that clutch, I decided to take a quick look since this would be the easy one to get to under the, the hood if you're wanting to, I guess, rig it. And if you see their DCT, second one up, it's this guy here, which I have pulled out and I did inspect. The fuse is good, but more importantly, the fuse is present. Um, so then that, that I'm going to assume is not it. The last thing to do is check this power supply at the connector inside. If that's good, then... I think we are good to call for a bad computer. Okay, so just lastly, I believe it's going to be a last check, just wanted to show. I will be at pin 62, which I've already got it pinned in, and just simply go to ground. And we do have a, a good wire at least coming down here, so... Pretty sure problem on this is actuator took out the PCM or TCM actually and will need to be replaced. Okay, so I went ahead and picked up a used one with the same number. There's the original one. Key is on. I wanted to show you some of the um, information in here. So as far as all this... Now, I'm doing this because I'm not sure if a used one can be installed. When I'm looking here at this page, that's listed EC information. If any of this is specific, obviously, to have been number. And I've taken pictures of this already to compare for, uh, like, calibration ID, so on and so forth, on the used one when I plug it in. So, I don't know if this is going to be an issue, like a VIN number issue. I'm not seeing it labeled here, it doesn't mean that it's inside internally. And as far as uh, special functions, there's nothing about writing VIN or anything, just to learn the um, dual clutch transmission. And one more area that I wanted to show that I looked at. Hot functions, if you see here in the VIN area, I wanted to see if there was a, like a right VIN for the trans module, and there isn't, so just those two modules. So I, at this point, am going to unplug original TCM, 
install the used one and see what happens. Okay, so the used one is installed. Here's the original one. And here goes the first key on. So there's that. So let's see. That's the VIN. Yes. We'll go in USA correct vehicle and I think I'll do a complete system scan first I mean I could probably go ahead and start the car see if it'll move forward but uh, I'm gonna save the suspense and do an complete scan okay so so far no code not even an engine uh, cluster looks like there's one but I think there was one there before emo right now mm, nothing there BCM, nothing. So far it's looking like nothing's logging anything that would be like VIN mismatch. Cluster should be the same one from before. Yeah. History, so. Uh, before even checking calibration ID or anything. Based of what I'm seeing there, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to... Uh, Engage forward gears. And there we go. Sweet. And reverse. All right. Um, this is in park. Again, and I'll do drive so that's it's moving okay and actually before I didn't mention but I, I noticed it late here there was a big E I'm assuming for error and uh, now we get the proper uh, Prindle display and obviously no codes in the system so I'll shut it off and actually what I want to do is, being that we know there is calibrations for the dual clutch, I am going to go forward and do that. So let's go into the transmission, double clutch, special function, dual clutch translearn function. Okay, so engine off, ignition on, brake engage, foot on pedal, pull e-brake, shift lever to park, I'm in park, no codes in there, so let's go forward. I can hear... Hopefully the camera picked that up. There was actuations in the training going on. Uh, so I'm assuming it's learning itself. So now this transmission that obviously came from another car um, and a computer that came from another car. I'm trying to now sync everything, adapt everything, get everything to a good starting point. That is why I'm doing this. Now the um, buffer wheel has stopped. There's no message saying like success or anything. But beforehand, off camera, when it came to me, I tried to run this and it would kick me out or no noises would happen. I'm going to assume it performed it and learned it. 
So let's see, fun piece for starting that. I'll hit OK. And All right, so then cancel. Read trouble codes just in case anything was logged during procedure and there wasn't and I'm gonna assume this one is good to go um, one last thing I will just do I can do a quick erase but just one module so I'll delete this one that way just there's no codes at all even though it's not present so just the way I like to give them back because if it comes back this way, you know it left with zero codes. Okay, so finally, looks like it deleted it. I'm back out. Everything should have no codes now. And good. All right. We'll shut it down. And, and we'll finish up from there. Okay, so there you go. That's it. We're all done with this one. In the end, uh, I believe the transmission that it originally came with is most likely good, other than, yes, the actuator motor for Clutch 1. It is a replaceable part, and seems that uh, when it goes out, it looks like it takes out the transmission control module as well. This is a vehicle and system I've not worked on before, but with just basic knowledge and using little bit of your uh, logic you can try to generate a picture and idea with pulling the trouble code the description the system that one clutch controls the forwards the other the uh, even numbers and reverse and then going forward with having the transmission being replaced and same problem still being present uh, it just kinda gives you a ballpark idea that possibly transmission computer is bad before calling that though, you have to just go through your steps like I did here, showed here, and uh, make sure that everything that is involved around the computer is good, present, and not faulty. That means all your powers, grounds, wiring, so on and so forth. The other cool thing is that I at least got to know that these transmission computers are I guess seems to be plug and play, no crazy programming or VIN rewriting or any of that sort. Uh, it just goes right in, run through the calibration, and everything works fine. So now I will contact the customer, let him know that this vehicle is fixed, it's moving forward and backwards, and that he should be fine. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I at least did with following along in the just basic diagnostic test and with that thank you for watching and that's it for this one until the next one that's all